and welcome to our weekly video update from Ardley Green Learning Federation. It's been amazing to see so many of you at our coffee mornings over the last 10 days. I don't think I've ever drunk so many cups of coffee, but great to share with you future plans for our school. I hope you enjoy going to see your children and uh, their home while they're in school. So thank you for coming and thank you for so many positive comments about learning here at Ardley Green Learning Federation. Yesterday, Year 3 enjoyed an amazing day with our Stone Age workshop, learning about all things Stone Age. We dropped the curriculum for one day, but looked at how life would have been like in Stone Age times. Have a look at some of these pictures to give you a flavour of what went on. Not to be outdone, Year 6 are also on a historical phase of their learning journey at the moment. They're learning about the Tudors and, and next week they're going to Hever Castle. This is some things they just might say. So by now I hope you've received the documents I referred to at the coffee mornings. Um, you had the pupil passports, which gives you the outline of what your children will be doing in their particular year group. We explained the context of the boarding passes, just to give you an idea of some of the experiences we plan for your children this year. And last, but by no means least, Worldly Wise. Thank you for the positive comments we received. Uh, we've enjoyed learning more about London that is even contained in these documents. The children have been amazing fact finders, so thank you for encouraging your children to become worldly wise in the boss, best possible sense. And finally, to um, finish this week's broadcast, I want to share with you uh, an email I received this morning. Um, I wonder how often in our everyday lives do we take the time in our busy lives just to say thank you to people. Um, I've got to tell you, this sort of made the day for us and the teaching staff at our school, so I'm not going to embarrass the person who sent it, but you know who you are, and thank you for that. But just want to share with you what this person sent to the staff today, um, which I think captures what we're trying to achieve through the learning journey, through the learning passports, through the boarding passes, and worldly wise. I hope I don't make a mistake with my reading, I'll do my best. Dear Mr Morris, I wanted to email my thanks for the wonderful pupil passports that have been given to my children. I have a child in year one and in year three. And we had the most lovely evening sitting down together looking through the passports and boarding cards and talking about the topics and experience ahead of them. As a working family, we have quite minimal contact with the school door to door, so these documents are going to be so helpful for us to support the children at home. Now we know even more about the curriculum topics. I also wanted to say how absolutely thrilled I was to see a focus being put on enrichment experiences and other opportunities beyond just academic success. I feel passionately that school should be about developing the whole child and that is exactly what your lovely approach does. The performances, cooking and music, all just lovely things that children should experience. I'm so grateful, I love this bit, sorry, I'm so grateful my children attend your wonderful school. That's our wonderful school. I couldn't ask for a better start to the voyage into education. Please thank all your staff for their hard work I have. Finally, a special shout out to Year 3 team. I have not seen my son so enthused about his learning as he was coming home from school yesterday. The Stone Age workshop sounded incredible, it was, and he was talking all night about the activities he did. Please thank the team for organising such a lovely experience I have. Wishing you a lovely day. Thank you. I hope you have a lovely day. Have a great weekend and we'll catch up next week. Bye-bye.